Please don't be my bank account. I really don't need him to see how broke I am. My hand? Wait, which one? Oh, okay. Guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. I don't know what to wear. Okay, very funny genius, but I have class today, so no. Oh, actually, this could work. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Okay, that was pretty cute, so I guess I won't be mad at him, but he owes me a new lipstick. Does anyone know the answer to letter A? No, I don't. Yes? Um, 22? Correct. Good job. Hey, beautiful. What do you say you come with me? Don't be scared. Come on. <laughs> I just knocked somebody out. Or, I guess you did. Okay, yeah, I should probably go. Morning. I just want to say thank you for protecting me like that yesterday. So, I guess you can hear and see everything that I do? Well, guess I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> hey, would you stop that? Hey, Mia. Hi. I, uh, I like your dress. Oh, thanks. Can I have your snap? Yeah, sure, it's... Are you... are you good? Yeah, sorry about that. Why don't I just add you? Okay, my username is... What the... Actually, never mind. That was so embarrassing. Moo! Ow! Oh, I barely even pushed... <gasps> I am so sorry. Do you know how much this outfit was? No. Of course you don't, you idiot! Did you just- No, I- Zip it! You are gonna pay for my dry cleaning! Why are you so aggressive? I'm just trying to look out for you. Just please tone it down, because you're gonna get me in trouble. On my way, we're gonna party hard tonight! I am so excited. Okay, I'll be waiting. Come on, girl, let's go! Um... <laughs> Let go of the door. I can't. Oh, I see what you're doing. No, I'm being serious. My soulmate, he's- Save it. You should have told me you didn't want to come. No, Sarah, wait. Thanks for wasting my gas. You know, I thought I asked you to tone it down. I don't need you to be acting like a, a parent to me. This is getting really annoying. When do I get to control him? Want to switch and control your soulmate? Yes. You will control your soulmate's hand with your mind. You will now be able to see and hear everything your soulmate does. Some things will be censored for privacy reasons. Oh, that's a relief. Are you ready to switch now? Yes. She's in control of me now? Great! Just don't do anything dirty. <gasps> ah! Jeez, I was just kidding! Oh, this is so fun. Ready for the concert? I sure am. Who is she? Oh, no, he doesn't. Whoa! You good? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Chill, this is my sister. Whoops. Damn, and I thought I was overprotective. Sorry, I guess we both kind of are. <laughs> Here, happy birthday, Brianna. Thank you. Are you okay? I'm feeling... Oh no, honey, come with me now. Here, put this charger in your charging port right there. I've been secretly charging you every day, but it's time that you know. You're not like the other kids. If you don't charge yourself and your battery's gone, you'll die. You must keep this a secret, because if the other kids find out, they'll treat you differently, okay? Okay. I'm all charged and ready for the day. Welcome to gym class. Today we're going to be running 100 laps. Oh no. I'm gonna lose all my battery. You're what? Nothing. Keep running! I, I can't. I'll be back, coach. I need more charge. What the? I need more charge. What the? What are you doing? What are you doing here? Why'd you follow me, you creep? Why is there a charger plugged into you? I run on battery. If I don't recharge myself, I'll die. Don't worry. 
Your secret is safe with me. Oh no! I forgot to charge myself last night! It's okay, I'm already late. I'll have to charge myself at school. Hey, watch out! I'm so sorry, Derek. I'm just super late, so I was in a rush. It's no problem. Here, you dropped your bag. Thank you. Class, turn to page 69. I need to charge myself. Where is it? My charger is gone! Hey, Brianna, I know your secret. Derek told the whole school. 3D, is it time for school? Yes, I think so. Sweetie, you need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 8 a.m. It's time for school. Mmm, lunchtime. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 12 p.m. It's time for everybody to eat lunch. Except Timmy. It's time for Timmy to be my lunch. No, Mr. Wolf, please! Please wish for me to pass my test. What? No, leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch, or...? You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me? No, I mean, I wanted to... Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. Can you please wish for... Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes, like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm. I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes. Get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited. Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. Not gonna happen. Oh yes it is. I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh, okay. Come here. No way! I just got a billion dollars in my account! Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice! Now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. Alright, you can have a little break. Come on. <sighs> you know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst, Melanie. Grayson, what are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson, just repeat after me. I wish- I wish- For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. Ooh, that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops down these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. Mom, what's this location thingy? Honey, that means you're the special one of the family. Huh? One family member from each household is given the gift of knowing people's locations. Sweet. Cool, sis. Makes up for the fact that you've got no other talent. <laughs> Your brother isn't answering his phone. Where's my brother? He's at Jessica's, and I think we probably know what they're both doing. <gasps> oh, he is so grounded. 
Dad, you're back from your trip early. Uh, yeah, I am. Secret handshake? What? <laughs> Our secret handshake, we always do it when you get back from your trip. Oh, of course. Uh, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm just so tired. I'm gonna go lay down. He would never forget our secret handshake. I might be crazy to ask this, but where's my dad? Mm. It's him. Hey, you in there? Hi, honey. Oh, hey, dad. Mm. Is your phone ringing? No. Oh, really? Because I'm pretty sure I hear mm. that. Who's calling you? No one. It was just uh, a video that I was watching. Um, anyways, I'm going to go now. Hello? Penny, hey, listen to me very carefully. Dad? Yes, that man in the house is not me. Get your mom and your brother and get out. Wait, what? There's a lot more to explain, but... Hello? <laughs> come on, come on, pick up. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. What? Where is my dad? Dinner's ready. Okay, just a minute. Hey, sis, thanks a lot for snitching on me. Come here. Get off of me, what's up? Shh. Something very bad has happened, and I need your help. So there's a man pretending to be dad? Yes. And our real dad is in a basement? Yeah. Your dinner is getting cold. Mom, there's something that we need to- Hey, kids, get to the dinner table now. Doesn't the food look good? Um, who made this? Would you believe it? Your father did. Actually, I'm not hungry. Ah, uh, Penny, come on. Well, I'm starving. No, Mom, don't. Mm, this is great. It's a new recipe. Can we be excused? You can, but your brother is still eating. Let him eat in peace, honey. But Penny, it's fine. Just go upstairs. Hello, Penny. <gasps> Dad! You can cut the act. You know I'm not your father. Your mom and brother are taking a little nap. Where are they? Why don't you ask for yourself? <laughs> Where's my brother and mom? Where's my mom and brother? Where are you taking them? Who are you? Well, Penny, I'm actually your uncle. What? Didn't your dad ever tell you he had a twin? <laughs> what do you want with us? Your dad owes me a lot of money, and he hasn't been very cooperative, so I decided I needed a little leverage. That's where your family comes into play. Are my mom and brother... They're fine, and they'll stay that way as long as your dad cooperates. And what about me? Someone with your power can be very useful for my line of work. I think I'll keep you. Your dad escaped from my men. Ask where he is. Where's my dad? So, what's it say? Quite it says so. he's in his car. You well, he's too cool. late. You and I are leaving. I don't think so. <laughs> Penny! Hey! Are you okay? Is it really you? Yes, Penny, I swear it's me, honey. I just found your mom and brother. They're alright. You're safe now. Happy birthday! We got you something! I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 colored, colored pencils. pencils. Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey, babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> Wh what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I'm just a baby. Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say okay, mom. I'm just a baby. I think today I'm going to go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? 
What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Want to come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils, and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great- Grandma, what is that above my head? Those are all your childhood memories, dear, and it looks like you've already made quite a lot of them. Well, that's good, because I want to remember all the fun things I did with you. Oh, Annalise, you are so sweet. <laughs> There is a fire in the castle. We need to get you both out now. Grandma, I'm scared. I don't want to lose you like I lost my parents. Don't worry, dear. We'll be all right. My queen, watch out. The ceiling is collapsing. No! You left your clothes on the floor. Sorry, I just... They pay me to foster you, not to be your maid. Didn't anyone ever teach you to clean up after yourself? Well, you know, even if someone did, I really wouldn't have remembered because I lost all my childhood memories. Yeah, yeah, enough with your sob story. Just clean up. Excuse me, sir. Do you know why there's a bunch of flowers everywhere? Oh, yeah. Those are for the princess. Everyone leaves those for her. Today marks the fifth year of her passing. It's awful what happened to her. Hey, are you okay? I think I just had a memory of me being a princess. Sorry, I know that sounds crazy. A princess? Wait, did something happen to your memories? Yeah, actually, when I was younger, some sort of accident happened to me. I don't remember what, but the doctor told me that I have amnesia. Some people still think the princess is still alive. They do? Yeah, and actually, I'm one of those people. You know, I could take you to the queen if you really think you're the princess. No, that's okay. Uh, I really should be going. At least take my number. If any more of your memories come back, call me. I can't believe that guy thought that I was a princess. Quite, my queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsed! No! no. Grandma? She left me. Oh, my head. Hey, I got your voicemail. You got another memory? I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so. Wait here. The queen will see you in just a moment. Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I'd never- See me again. I've heard it all before. Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Let her go. 
I need to get something to show her. This was one of the few things that survived the fire. I had it restored. I bought it as a gift for my granddaughter. You couldn't have known about that unless... It's me, Grandma. Oh, Annalise, it is you. I recognize your eyes. I'm so sorry. I begged the gods to go look for you. It's okay. How are you alive? What happened? I can barely remember. Sweetheart, can you remember anything about what happened to you? What your name is? What your parents' names are? I don't remember anything. We have a code red. So you survived the fire and woke up in a hospital with amnesia. I am so sorry, but what's important is we're together now. Grandma, I actually wouldn't have been able to find you if it wasn't for him. Oh, really? What is your name? My name is Eric, Your Majesty. I can't thank you enough, Eric. Why aren't you a handsome young man? Ah, uh, thanks. It is my honor to restore my granddaughter's title of Princess Annalise. Long live the princess. Mommy, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, honey. Well, what's a sugar daddy? It's a candy. <laughs> well, then I wished for a sugar daddy. No! Oh, why did you do that? Look, guys, it's Sugar Daddy Girl. Shut up. I was six, okay? At least I won't have to worry about money. You did not just say that. I bet she's looking forward to it. Mom, are you sure there's no way for me to change my wish? Your wish is permanent, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling like this is all my fault. That's because it kind of is. What was that? Nothing! Love you, Mom. <laughs> Here's your test back. Can I see you after class, please? Mr. Smith, if this is about my grade and my test, I... No, no, it's not about that. And, uh, please, call me Darren. Darren, I mean, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean, what are you doing? Well, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I actually really like you, Brina, as more than just a student. In fact, I really don't even need this job. I just teach here so I can see you. What? Yeah, I'm actually a multimillionaire, and I'm looking for someone like you to spoil. Um, I... Please, Bruna, just think about it. All I would ask for is one favor in return. Mom, I think my wish just came. Honey, I don't feel good. Call an ambulance. What's going on with her, doctor? Your mother needs a kidney transplant, but her insurance does not cover it. Well, how much does the surgery cost? 145000 out of pocket. Do it. I'll cover the expenses. Are you sure? Hey, Brina, did you change your mind? Yes, I'll do you a favor, but no one can know about this, okay? Of course, of course. Now, what did you want in return? $145,000. How much did your teacher give you? $145K for the surgery. Brina, are you kidding me? I know it sounds bad, but he just wanted to take me out to dinner, and he said all he wants to do is pay for my meal and just talk. Are you insane? There's no way on earth I'm letting my baby girl go meet up with some creep. He's 40 years old and you're still a minor. I know, but they said your insurance isn't going to cover your surgery. I was trying to save you. Listen to me. I will take money out of my savings. Mom, you will go broke. I don't care. Now you go give that teacher his money back right now. No daughter of mine is going to have a sugar daddy. But Mom... I said no. Hey, you're early. Actually, I'm not going out to dinner with you after all. What? Why? I told my mom and she... You told your mom? Yeah, so listen, here's your check back. No! This wasn't a part of our deal. Hey, you're coming with me. Wait here. I'll be right back. I have to get out of here. Wait. He's an idiot. He didn't even take my phone. All right, I'm back. Here, I bought this for you. Put it on. Yeah, that's not happening. Please put it on, Brina. I'd like you to wear that. Oh, so now you want to be nice. You know what, can I ask you something? Honestly, why are you so obsessed with me out of all the other students? Because you... You remind me of my wife when she was younger. She passed away right after we got married. Ever since then, I haven't really been the same. Whoa, now I almost feel bad for doing this to you. Doing what? It's all clear, guys. Police, let me see your hands! Oh. I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I just don't get it, though. I wish for a sugar daddy, not for a creepy stalker teacher. Well, honey, look what came for you in the mail today. Wait, so it is a candy? <laughs> yep, and after I sue that teacher, we'll have plenty of money to pay for my surgery. Happy birthday, sweet. <gasps> Mommy, I got 1,000 years! Shh, don't say that so loud. Come on, we're leaving. But why? No one can ever know how many years you have. Put it to private immediately. Hey girl, why do you always keep your ears on private? I just... 
Don't see the need to share it, that's all. He probably has no years left, that's why. Jake, don't be mean. Hey, Mom. My years are still going up. It's almost at 3,000. Can you tell me why it's such a bad thing? Don't ever mention this to me again. Now go to your room. Everyone reveal your years immediately. Who are these guys? The legend has it that the girl who receives over thousands of years in her lifetime is the long lost princess. Everyone reveal your years. We must find the princess. They already are. Brianna's the only one who keeps her years on private. Reveal it now. 3,000 years. Come with us. I'll be right back. Your driver should be here shortly. What are you doing here? Why didn't you tell me people were coming to the school today? I, I didn't know. Let's go. We're going home. But mom, I'm the princess. Come on. You are never going to leave your room ever again. Mom, no, don't leave me here. Mom. Hello there, princess. Are you a prince? I believe this is yours. A crown. It looks stunning on you. Here, take my hand. Let's get out of here. So you're the princess. Oh, we must get rid of those commoner clothes immediately. Follow me. Wow, this gown is gorgeous. Princess, your years, they're at infinite. But how is that possible? When the princess meets her soulmate, she gets infinite years. You must be my soulmate then. No, that's not possible. You have infinite years and he doesn't. The princess's soulmate should also have infinite years after meeting. It's somebody else. Who else did I meet? Princess, it must be some kind of mistake. I know you're my soulmate. Will you marry me? Of course I'll marry you. You did save me after all. Prince? Prince, where are you? I need your help picking an outfit. I'm really nervous about meeting my real mother and father. Wait, what if the princess sees us? <laughs> Don't worry about her. She's clueless. I have her wrapped around my finger. Princess, are you okay? Who are you? After all this time, you still don't know me? No. Wait. Everyone, reveal your years. We must find the princess. The princess's soulmate should also have infinite years after meeting. It's somebody else. I do remember you. I have to show you something. Infinite years. So you're my soulmate, and not a prince? A servant boy? I'm sorry to disappoint you. I can't marry you. I must marry a prince and become queen. Are you ready to be married, princess? Don't speak to me. This is a transaction, not love. You will now be pronounced king and queen once your new crowns are worn. Wait, I object. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm. I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. You're the lost princess. What? Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I am not. I'm being serious. Save it. My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Let go of me. I'm going home. You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Ridiculous, I know. I hope you learned your... This is the royal gods. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But... Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. 
He had no reason to take me. Hmm. I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. Nobody move or I kill her. We need to cover up your mark. Nobody follows us, understand? Yes, sir, we understand. Perfect. No one can tell you're the princess now. Time to go. You can reverse your powers. All you have to do is say it. Ow! No whispering. We're leaving. You royal guards will never find us again. Reverse my powers. Oh, Blair, what are you doing? Royals' powers can heal, but they can also kill. <gasps> And this is why you don't mess with the royals. Help the princess. Yes, ma. Feeling better, princess? Yes, thank you. Good, because there are some people who would like to see you. Hey, they have the same mark as me. I can't believe it. It's you. It is my pleasure to inform you that my daughter, your princess, has returned. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. You're the lost princess. What? <laughs> yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I'm not. I'm being serious. Save it. My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Let go of me. I'm going home. You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Quite so. Ridiculous. You I know. I hope you learned your... This is the royal gods. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But... Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. Nobody move or I kill her. We need to cover up your mark. Nobody follows us, understand? Yes, sir, we understand. Perfect. No one can tell you're the princess now. <sighs> time to go. You can reverse your powers. All you have to do is say it. Ow! No whispering, we're leaving. You royal guards will never find us again. Reverse my powers. Oh, Blair, what are you doing? Royals' powers can heal, but they can also kill. <gasps> and this is why you don't mess with the royals. Help the princess. Yes, ma'am. Feeling better, princess? Yes, thank you. Good, because there are some people who would like to see you. Hey, they have the same mark as... me. I can't believe it. It's you. 
It is my pleasure to inform you that my daughter, your princess, has returned. Jingy, let's play freeze dance. Okay. Freeze. Wait, am I supposed to freeze now? Unfreeze. No, Brianna, you killed Timmy. You're not supposed to play freeze dance. It's for population control. It kills people. I didn't know. Hey, Kevin, I made you muffins. Thanks, Brianna. Hey, stay away from Kevin. He's mine. Well, I don't see your name on him. Let's play freeze dance and settle this once and for all. Whoever wins gets Kevin. Deal. I didn't agree to this. Freeze. Oh, oh, like crip, like crip. No, Kevin, baby, I'm coming to save you. Unfree. Freeze. Oh, oh, like crip, like crip. No, Kevin, baby, I'm coming to save you. Unfreeze. Oh no, Brianna, were you playing freeze dance? Because of you, Brittany and Kevin are dead. She killed Brittany and Kevin? She's sick. No, no, it's not like that, I promise. Hey, leave her alone. Brianna, come with me. Hey, thanks for getting me out of there. I really appreciate it. It was nothing. Do you remember Timmy? Timmy? Freeze. Wait, am I supposed to freeze now? Yeah, I do remember him. He died playing freeze dance back when I was six. He was my brother. It's time that I finally avenge his death. I challenge you to a game of freeze dance. Uh-oh, the poisonous gas is being released. Hurry, hold your breath. All right, everyone, here's your gas mask. It will stop you from breathing in the poisonous gas being released. Uh, excuse me, I didn't get one. There's not enough gas masks for everyone. The families with the highest incomes are given it first. But that's not fair. The rest of us are going to die. We can't keep holding our breath forever. You'll have to try. Oh, no. It's not fair. They get masks and we don't. It's like they're trying to get rid of us. I know. And the times we're getting to hold our breath are getting longer and longer. Come on, pick up the pace! Keep running! I can't! I'm out of breath! What? <coughs> How am I still alive? Oh no, all the people who didn't have gas masks are dead! Not everyone. Brianna's still alive. That's impossible. How can she hold her breath for 10 minutes and still be alive? OMG, you're alive! No way. How did you survive? You didn't have a gas mask. I don't know. I couldn't hold my breath any longer, so I just breathed in the gas. So did I. I'm not gonna fight it anymore. We breathed in the gas. How are we surviving? I think the people that died didn't die from the gas. They died from holding their breath. Look at your hands. Look at your hand. Oh no. I must have had some kind of reaction to the poisonous gas. Your face. It's turning green. <coughs> I don't feel so good. <gasps> it's not supposed to be time yet. Hold your breath as long as you can. <coughs> It's impossible to hold our breath that long. I know. <coughs> Look at you. You're getting worse. Me? What about you? Look at your arm. I got the oxygen can 3000. It's way better than those silly gas masks. Okay, rich boy. Give me that oxygen tank. Here, I got you this oxygen tank. You need to use it right away. You're not breathing well at all. It's too late. Well, I'm allergic to cats, so guess I'll have to have a twin of myself. Hi. Hi, can I come in? Yeah, come on in. My mom wants me to go do the dishes. I'll be right back, okay? No, no, I can do them for you. For real? Totally, your mom will just think I'm you. Just stay here and I'll be right back. Okay, well, thanks. Maybe having a twin is so bad. Bye, babe, talk to you later. Was that your boyfriend? Yeah. Can I see a picture of him? Uh, yeah, sure. Here, this is him. Aw, he's so cute. I know, right? Damn it. 
What's wrong? I just realized I have a history test today. I didn't even study. Oh, I could take it for you. I'm great at history. Wait, you are? Yeah, I totally got this. I'm just like you, you know, but I'm just a little bit smarter. How'd it go? Well, I got you a 100%. No way. Yep, but I gotta go. I'm gonna go meet your friend Amy and we're gonna go get her nails done. Wait, what? Is something wrong? Well, it's just Amy's my best friend. Oh, I know, but she thinks that I'm you, and I just thought since I took your test, I could have some time to relax, but if you don't want me to go... No, go ahead. You deserve a break. Hey, sorry I took so long. We went out to dinner after. You did? Yeah, Amy is such a sweetheart. Yeah, she really is. Oh, where are you off to dress all fancy like that? I'm going on a little date with Ian. You sure you don't need me to take your place? No, that's okay. I'm just kidding with you. Go have fun. Hey girl, how'd it go? It was so nice. He, Why are you looking at my laptop? Oh, I was just looking at some pictures of you and your boyfriend and I was reading through your diary. I did not know you struggled with anxiety. Hey, that's private. I just thought since I'm your twin, I should know more about you. Get out of my room. After all I did for her and she's gonna yell at me like that? I don't think so. I just want to say I'm sorry for looking at your laptop. I shouldn't have done that. Don't even worry about it. I shouldn't have got so upset at you either. It's totally fine. I forgive you. Are you going on another date? Yeah, Ian's going to take me to go see a movie. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love that for you guys. Hey, um, I grabbed this out of the fridge. I didn't really like it. Do you want it? Actually, this one's my favorite, so thanks. You ready to go? <sighs> Whoa. Oh, what's wrong? I don't know. My head just feels really weird. Oh, honey, you need to lay down. <sighs> That's it. Just relax. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him, but definitely not him. What? Next. But I. And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> you have offended all the princes. Wow, that was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry. I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must! I will not lose you like I lost your father! You must find a husband, do you understand? Oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun! Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you all right? My corset, it's... it's too tight. My corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on, I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who... Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I... Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent. We shall be married tomorrow, and you shall be saved from death. 
Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, your highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding. That man is a fraud. Nathaniel, someone get this fool out of here. The only fool here is you. Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be. In fact, he's not a prince at all. It's true. You were just using her to become royalty. No, I am a man of honor. No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the queen. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey, will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't, don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. <laughs> All right, okay, here you go. I'm going to give you your first paycheck right now. I got two other kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi. Can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yay. Yes. Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> Don't you dare snitch on me. Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <laughs> We're not allowed to say. Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow! Hey! <sighs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He, he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now, if you'll excuse me. Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're gonna work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about her? I was just gonna say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that, don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm gonna find a way to expose her. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. 
Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah, I love you girls too. Then tell him I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. Oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, <laughs> you know, you got really nice. Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're going to be heartbroken. The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But, sir... You're fired, hun. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. It's okay. Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. <laughs> It'll be okay. No, it's not going to be okay. I failed them. Oh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. I have to go help them. Where's Daddy? Sorry, honey, but Daddy's getting interrogated right now. <laughs> I have to get in there. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, boss, look who I found. Well, well. It's gonna be okay. Yes, girls, stop struggling. Everything will be fine. For me. Actually, no, it's not. Because I may not be a chef or have graduated from college, but there's one thing that I didn't put on my resume that's uh, about to come in real handy right now. And what's that? How did you- I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bitch. Lucy. Girls. It's okay. Lucy, is everyone all right? Yeah, Lucy saved us. You're hurt. I'm fine. Thank you. Daddy, does this mean that Lucy can stay? Yeah, I just hope she can forgive me for being so. Now they have to get married. Yeah, or at least give her a raise, Dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. Hmm. Who are your parents? Well, my parents are... Wait, dear. Actually, allow me. bippity boppity boo Daughter of Rapunzel and Flynn. Um, actually, it's Eugene. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. You'll be needing this now. What is that? Dear, this is a high school for good and evil. This is how we track your behavior. Oh. You better get to class. Hi, I'm Ruby, daughter of Snow White. It's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Amelia, daughter of Rapunzel. Oh, I'm a big fan of your father. Could you help me hold my books? Of course. Thank you. Hey, so question, who are all those guys over there? Amelia, those are the villain kids. Don't make eye contact. Would your hair happen to be magic, love? Oh, feisty. I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you figure out who my father is? Why did my scale move towards evil? Maybe because you have a crush on a villain's son. Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not, I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it. You stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. I'm the son of Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Really, I didn't think they had a son. Well, obviously, they do. So if you'll excuse us, pirate, we're going to the ball. I'm really glad we met. Me too. Your hair is beautiful. You look just like your mom. Thanks. Is something wrong, Amelia? 
What's the matter? Well, it's just I thought my scale would move more towards good since I've been hanging out with you for so long. Come here, let me tell you a secret. I'm not actually a prince. <laughs> let me go, you jerk. Who are you the son of anyway? I'm the son of the villain Hans, and I need you to sing me the song that activates your powers. I should have known by the red hair, and I am not singing you that song. Okay. Don't sing, and I cut off all your hair. No. <laughs> Why do you need my healing powers? Because Elsa's daughter froze my heart, and only your powers can heal it. I don't have much time, so start singing. Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter. Now say the words. I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess, pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's called winning, mate. Hey, is that Snow White boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh, oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's all right, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey, you're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love, because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. <laughs>